your secrets if you really look at yourself you will be speechless what happened to being doctors and teachers what happened to being your brother's keeper nowadays kids more worried about the reaper what's up ladies and gents this is case sig kid coming at you with another destiny video today we're gonna smack crota in the face with a sword oh yeah it's hard raid time and we're going to show off a little bit of a different strategy. Um, I know there are plenty of groups that are probably using this method, but there are just plenty others who aren't. So just figured this is something that you could potentially take into your raid. I like this method. I like to call it the split method, since we end up splitting the group into three and three up top and down below. And you'll kind of see all that as it goes along. I feel like it's a pretty safe method for protecting three people in your party for most of the raids, so something if you have a couple 31s that you might be able to do this. Now in the beginning stages, this is just the worst area ever to start off. So what's great is having a Titan with a bubble in there with Blessing of Light on, because then you just start off in the bubble, you have that overshield, and you never have to worry about taking health damage in this fashion. What we do is shoot the Acolytes because they're the only ones with the guns that can really hit you, unless those knights get super angry and come in and try smacking you, which they do on occasion. Instead of killing the knights off with our guns though, we like to use our supers, Warlock, Titan, um, Hunter, and with that you can generate orbs of light. So there I just smashed two of those and I should generate eight orbs of light for my teammates. Because another big thing is having armor where you get health back whenever you pick up an orb. I don't have that perk on any of my uh, pieces here for the Warlock. So I have to just rely on the Suros and playing safe and smart. But other teammates do have that. So whenever we generate all these orbs, they're able to get their health back. So it's really awesome and just a great thing to do. Again, kill the Acolytes, the red enemies, and use the supers on the yellow. So this is where we see the team splitting up. We're on the left and right hand side, and we call out that we're ready to go, and we book it through the areas. And the reason why we both just wait is because once you run out and get this stuff started, the boomers can come out. So it's better to just all run out at once. Now the group that was on the right hand side, they're going under the right tower, um, and their job is to get the sword bearer down. The three of us have to stay on this left window pane as close to that barrier as possible because, well, you'll see later. But our only job right now is shoot Crota with primary weapons and just make sure he stays focused on us and not down at the group below. So once we get the sword bearer up, here's our main thing. We are tasked with taking down Crota's shield on call and our sword bearer called out to go ahead and shoot him. We shot out a couple rockets and I like to shoot my sniper rifle in the beginning. And on the second one, again, it's rockets away. <laughs> And after you fire your rockets, swap over to your primary weapon, because you don't want to give Crota's shield a chance to regain its full health, which it does really quickly if it's not taking damage. So fire off a rocket or two, and then go ahead back and <laughs> switch to your primary. Now we had a Titan bubble up there, you can see, and that's just to help protect the sword bearer whenever he goes up there from Crota and just any lingering damage, Crota or the boomers. Because as you can tell, we up here at the top, haven't even taken a shot at a boomer, haven't taken a shot at a thrall, it's just not necessary. The reason we're behind this pillar is because Crota is now on the right, and I'm trying to get, yeah, I unfortunately am back a little bit too far. Normally, if I'm up where uh, Bulldog is, you can dance and you can kind of rotate the camera around to see Crota. Crota can hit you <laughs> if you're not close to this pillar and hidden back far enough. So you really want to play this safe because that's a quick way to get, get killed. Right now, Bulldog's just kind of sneaking just a peek to see whenever Crota gets back to the middle. The team that's under the right-hand tower is just doing damage on the sword bear, but they're not killing it. They're going to wait until Crota gets back to the middle, and then it's time to take action. So our group under the tower has the sword bear down to really low health, and there's Crota in the middle. So it's time to go ahead and take some action, trying to get Crota to focus over here. They've got the sword bear down already, and it's time to just blast Crota's shields. And there he goes, down to a knee. A couple swipes, our Titan Bubble is up, so our sword uh, wielder <laughs> can go ahead in it. And time to take Crota down a second time. Back to primary ammo, Crota's down. There we go. So that's two runs. Now this is where it gets a little bit tricky for the group up top. We have to run to the area where the other group is. 
and you have to just be careful as you're running here to not get hit by boomers or thralls or most importantly exploding thralls which are the worst this is the place where the ogres spawn out and you need to jump up on these different ledges or doorways up here because that's where you're going to go ahead and stay safe i fell down but there i am back up top so this stage of the fight is where the group from the top, the shield stripping group, is in the most danger, having to run down and then back up to position. But we're waiting for the ogre to come. Whenever he comes, if you have a striker titan, good to throw your um, flashbang grenades. If not, just steal all the damage that you can. Be very, very careful with rockets. In some positions, rockets can kill you instantly uh, just with the backlash of splash damage. That ogre is fine to take down. The second one can be a bit trickier. And... Yalahorn wrecking shop as it is prone to do. If you have a Titan bubble, it's not bad to set it up before that. Our Titans were waiting to have the... Uh, oh, well, I guess we had a bubble here to, to help uh, run back. That actually helps the group that's going to run back up into position because we at least have the overshield to take damage. Now, as I come out, I like to hug this left wall as much as possible. Watch out for exploding thralls. And then I'm going to just run through the room over here. I think that's a little bit safer than trying to jump across the open to get back into position. This way we just have to get through the area. Oh, heavy ammo. And some orbs of light if you have um, still the perks on your armor. It looks like our group is all here with us, all alive. We're just going to wait and it looks like, yeah, the boomers aren't even looking. So we're just going to go ahead and run back into position, just like in the beginning. Now, after all of that, we've gone through two rotations of the sword. Crote has been on his knee four times. We need to do it two more times. And you can see he doesn't have much health left. Whenever he gets to a little bit lower health, though, after these next three sword slams, he's going to enrage and start calling infinite oversouls. So the trick is get down his shield twice quickly, ignore the oversouls, and let the sword bearer just go ahead and deal damage. Um, we're ready and in position over here but we're just gonna wait i think it's a little bit safer than rushing this part of the stage because the sword bear isn't necessarily always out i'm not 100 percent sure if he's down there now but we just went ahead and said for the group down there to just aggro the sword yeah that's why and that's why because crota wasn't going to stay in the middle forever and we kind of would have wasted around so what we're going to do here is we're just going to wait and play it safe and see if I can get... Man, I just can't get a position to show you guys where Crota is on the right-hand side. But you can see them jumping around down under the room where the ogres are. They're just kind of taking care of the sword bear, making sure he doesn't regain his health back. But they're going to be in position to not kill him now. Wait till Crota gets back to the middle, and then they're going to take him down. We're going to get Crota on this next time he gets to the middle. I can feel it. And it's going to be awesome. And that's how we're going to take down Hard Raid. So you can see this strategy, it's different. I like it a lot better than everybody being in the middle because it's much easier to get the sword bear down. A lot of times when you're in the middle, the sword bear is running around in the back. You can't see him. It's just a mess. And if your uh, sword wielder doesn't go down and meet the sword bear whenever he drops the sword, you're just going to waste a whole lot of time. And it's just not as efficient, in my opinion. This one is, and oh, there he is. Crota's back to the middle. It's time to do this thing. Again, we're trying to get Crota's attention, and our sword bear is up, not even messing around with the sniper rifle. It's rockets all the way, because we have nothing to lose. So here you go. You see Enrage is near, or Enrage is happening. Oversoul's being called. Crota is not invincible, and we are rockets away. Slam, 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 and we got it. Another word of Crota. Another crow to kill. That's how you get through with hard mode. <laughs> and again, this is really nice. You can put some 31s up here if they have yellow horns. Makes it all the easier to take down Crota's shield. They only have to survive through that run down and back. It's a pretty safe method. Pretty safe method. So let me know. What do you think about this strategy? Would you try it with your group? So anyway, guys and gals, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, smack that like button. Subscribe to the channel keep updated on future Destiny content. Good luck with your raids. Good luck with your drops. Check out these awesome videos. And I'll see you around in Destiny.